And then we come to one of my very favorite creative strategies that you do and you teach, and that is buying subject to the existing note or the existing mortgage. So tell me, what does it mean to buy subject to the existing note? Yeah, I love it too, by the way. And I find that the people that, um, that do the sandwich leases at the beginning, our students, they end up sort of, I'll call it graduating and understanding that they want to stay in these deals. So subject to just means I'm going to buy, uh, Mrs. Mary's home and Mary, o, I'll just give you a scenario. Mary owes 250,000. Mary came out of COVID and is stressed out and needs someone to cover that like ASAP. So we'll buy that home from Mary and we will, when you go to the closing table, if you've ever bought a home, you're used to seeing new money come to the table by way of a loan. And that's listed on the settlement statement. Instead, it says subject to existing loan, the present balance is listed. You are buying that property and that loan is staying in the seller's name and it will stay in the seller's name until such time you cash it out. Um, I can tell you that compared to pre and during a weight crash, I sleep a heck of a lot better mentally, physically, health wise, knowing that out of the 85 or 90 million real estate we control, we are not on one single loan. And so, uh, yeah, it's one of my favorites, Jay, because you can get all kinds of creativity on the selling end too, when after you tie it up. Chris, I never heard of this strategy of buying subject to the existing note until February, 2009. And when I heard about it, my first thought was who in their right mind <laughs> would sell me their house, transfer the title into my entity's name to where I own the property and they're going to leave the mortgage in their name. I'm not assuming the, the, the mortgage they're leaving the mortgage in their name. I'm agreeing to make their mortgage payment who in their right mind would trust me to make their payments. I have figured out the answer to that. What's your answer? Well, I think this is what you're looking for. If it's not, please tell me. Um, because I find that we talked about our financing earlier. That's people that are not in any way stressed out. I go to free and clear opposite end of the spectrum completely are the people that are need financial relief or something caused something to trigger some urgency, like a divorce. We just did one, uh, like a death. We sadly just did one of those or like post COVID. We just did one of those. So it's usually people that are stressed out that need immediate relief Two quick examples gentleman calls me and says you talk you talked to me when i was a facility by owner i wasn't in a hurry i got custody of my grandson my truck is packed and we're going cross country in four days can you come do that thing you talked about and he sold to us on owner for, uh, on sub you know sub two recently sadly these are coming out of the woodwork i'd love to know if you're getting these and that is this older woman in michigan one of my students called and she couldn't afford a $600 first payment, first mortgage and a $200 second. And she was only 3000 in arrears. And she begged us to do take the home. And there was already 60 grand sitting there of equity. She just wanted relief. And when she heard that we help buyers get into home, she said, you're it. And she'd been pounded by, you know, wholesalers and everybody else. So I don't know, are you getting a bunch of those on your end probably too from post COVID? Out of the woodwork, Chris. Yeah. And quite frankly, maybe you have the answer. I don't. I just know that I'm getting more subject to sellers. I'm getting actually more all cash sellers. I'm just getting more all sellers. And what's so interesting about it in this market is, of course, all these sellers are coming from our marketing of off market houses that are not in the multiple listing service. There's no inventory. Right. in the mobile listing service. So we're buying a hundred percent of our houses from owners directly. And we put it in the multiple listing service. If we're cashing out, if we're not selling on terms,